Hey, my amazing family. How are you guys doing today? <coughs> Excuse me. I wanted to share something and I have to share it because I just have the feeling that I already share it. Um, there's a lot of things, um, there's a lot of things yeah, going on in this world, like not good, you know, like negative, hate, all those, all those stuff that's not good for us, you know, that is destroying us, and um, it's happening, it's happening really, and, it, and, it, and it's sad, it's sad, it's sad what's happening, but, but it has to come a time that we have to, if others don't want to break that, we have to break that, the chain of negative and hate and all the stuff that it's not good you know like we had to we had to break it and make a new a new chain and that chain is of love and positive you know we had to build that chain of chain that chain of love and ne and positive not negative i was gonna say not negative we had to build the chain of positive and love because that's what really god gave us um, it was like, uh, for me, uh, back then, a lot of, a lot of friends that I have met on the way, um, has helping me and I have closed the door, helping me and close the door and gave up, close the door, a bunch of times, no, you can't even imagine, a lot of my friends know, they know, they have told me a lot of uh, motivation stuff, they have told me to do this, they have told me how to do that, and, I am always by closing the door. I always am by closing that door. I wanted, I wanted it to stay negative. I wanted it to stay with that hate, with that hate to another people. You know, I wanted to stay with all that. And always again, another help uh, came, and I closed the door again. I always am by closing the door. And I, at the end of the day, I always ask myself, what's going on? What's happening? Why is it not working? There was a lot of stress, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on on my mind. But um, I met someone through YouTube, um, and as soon as I met him, we started talking. He started telling me about God, and um, since that day, since that day that I showed up on his live stream, everything, everything changed. Because before, I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I did pray to God a few times, but uh, I still gave up, you know, and after that I came up on his, on his channel, everything changed. I have got close to God. I'm not saying that everything has changed out of me, you know, everything's going slow. And um, I have learned since that day, you know, like, because I always end by leaving everything halfway. Everything halfway. I don't finish it. I don't make it to the other line. I always leave it halfway. And I always, what's going on? What's happening? What's happening? And when I found, found when I have found God, I I figured out that I, all the help that I get, I I keep closing the door at Him, because I had I had two dreams. I had two dreams and. And those two dreams that that I that I had, it was all darkness. It was all darkness. The the, the first one, the first one that I had, it was about. Um, I was in a big building. It was dark. All the all the doors were locked. I couldn't get it out. But it was dark. I couldn't see anything. It was it was completely dark. And I was trying to get out, and I couldn't find a way out. And um. And there was, and as soon as that, all this darkness started, like, I start hearing these uh, real um, monster things, little monsters thing. They were ugly, and they were following me everywhere. I don't, I didn't know where to go because I couldn't get out. I couldn't get out. I was stuck with them right there in that full of darkness, and I couldn't get out. And and a little bit later, even though I couldn't see, uh, there was a car. Probably because of the color, I don't know. But I saw the car and I got in and I locked it. And all these little monsters went, 
what do you call it, monster demons, whatever you want to call it, they were all around the car. I couldn't even see through the car anymore because they were covering the car. I was so scared. I was so everything. I was I was terrified. But there was a light, a friend that appeared uh, in that dream. Appeared a big light, and and as soon as that big light came out, all those all those creatures went away, disappeared because they didn't like that light. And the only thing that I heard from that light is, don't worry, I'm here. And then I wake up. That's the only thing that I heard from that light is that voice, don't worry, I'm here. But it seems like I only heard that dream and it come over here. And then I had another dream. After probably years, I had another dream. Uh, this time I was upside it, it was again full of darkness a lot of darkness it was completely dark in the world you know and um, I was upside in the street walking and as soon as a bunch of snakes started coming up to me trying to get me and I got scared I got freaked out and then I didn't know what to do I didn't know where to go and I just keep running away from them and still I see a big truck and I got in, in the truck and I like doors I closed the windows but the snakes were upside trying to bite it to break the glass to get to me I was upset I was crying I was I don't know what to do and um, and again another voice came I'm here I'm here and then I wake up again and I didn't realize all that until now. I didn't realize until now until God has shown me, you know, that he's there. Even though I keep ignoring it, he was there. In the middle of all dark darkness, he was there. He's still here. And he has shown me the way. And from right now and on, my life's going to continue with staying positive, staying low with love, staying strong. I'm going to break the chain of hate and negative. We all have to. I know it's hard. Probably people won't, won't agree with me. Oh, that person did that to me. I'm going to do it back to them. No, that's not the way because that's, it's never going to break. It's never going to break the chain. We have to break it. It hurts. I know it hurts. But we have to break the chain and create the new one of positive and love. I'm going to create the chain. A positive fly. I'm not going to continue anymore. We have to start it now. It's not tomorrow. It's not next week. It's not next month. It's not next year or whatever. It has to start now. We have to break the chain of hate and negative. I'm serious. Like, it, it's hard. It's hard to to do that. You know to. To do that you know to we have to create positive to the negative not negative to the negative or hate to the hate because it's never gonna break it's just gonna continue continue the hate you know but we have to break it you know if other person is creating that we have to break it i always say that god keeps us this path our road he keeps us this road to follow it he's not gonna walk it for us but he gave us to walk it we have to walk it and what do we think as soon as the God puts us on that road what do you think it's gonna be easy no it's not gonna be easy we have to confront a lot of things through that road a lot of things we have to come from it's gonna be hey negative we're gonna come for a lot of time but the only thing we do we have to continue walking we have to continue walking we cannot turn back we cannot turn that way we cannot we have to turn continue walking there's gonna be a lot of stuff around you trying to stop you, behind you trying to stop you. God never said it was gonna be easy and that road that he gave us, he's not gonna walk it for us either. We have to walk it, but it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be hard. It's not gonna be easy. And I know it now that he's there. From all the times that I closed the door on him, He's still there. 
and now I'm different. I'm starting to do new things. I'm trying to do my motivation on Monday. I want to start doing new stuff. You know, it doesn't matter. I, I really don't care what other people said about me or whatever they said. I'm just going to continue move on. What they said, feel, feel, and move on. Pray for them, love them, and move on. That's what Jesus did. That was Jesus did. We had to see what He did for us. We didn't. We didn't deserve. We don't deserve. I mean, He didn't deserve that because of us, but He did it because He loved us. He didn't. He didn't create no more hate. He didn't create no more negative. He did it because of love, and He prayed. I mean, from all that He was receiving, all that negative and hate He was getting, He still prayed for them. He still prayed for them. I always remember that. I always remember Jesus dying on the cross for us. That's the only thing that I remember. If we could do it, why can I do it? But here we go again. I know it's hard to do the right thing. I know, I know it's hard to all oh, that thing is doing this to me. Oh, you want to say something? I, I know it's hard, but it's just gonna continue growing bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It's never gonna end. The hate, the negative is gonna continue. It's gonna continue. It's gonna continue. It's never gonna end, fam. It's never gonna end. We have to break it. My shin is starting right now. Of negative, a positive, not negative, positive and love. That's the shame of God. Love. What are you gonna do, fam? We have to break it. We have to break it. I decided to move on. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna take time, but I'm learning. It's a lot to learn, but I'm learning slow, and that has to has to go. I always have to. I always wanted to always go so fast that I don't realize that I'm doing everything wrong by going so fast. And I always by living halfway because I get tired. I get tired and I don't finish it. I always leave it halfway. But now that I got closer to God, He has to show me. And now I understand. You know, like a lot of people tell me, like. My friends tell me you have to follow your heart, you have to pray, you have to do this and that. And now that's what I've been doing and that's that's what I found now. It's God. I found God. Because of you guys telling me all those positive things. To never give up. You have to pray. Follow your heart. Follow this. And I finally did it. I finally did it, fam. We all have to do it. We all have to create the positive and love. To everyone, or it's never gonna end. It's never gonna end. This word's crazy, but we can end it. We can end that stuff, and we have to create a new one. That's love and positive. I hope you guys are with me. I know people won't agree with me because it's hard not to say something. I know it's hard. Trust me, it's just gonna get worse. It's gonna keep continue getting worse. Jesus, even though everything that he did, he he went through it. He went through it, and it was so hard. It was not easy getting those nails in there. It was not easy getting spit on the face. But he still continued for us. We have to break it, fam. We have to break it. Let's break the chain of negative and hate. Let's not continue. Let's not do what they do. Because that's what they want. The negative and hate, that's what they want us to do to create that. That's what they want to put us on our minds. We have to break that and follow the chain of God. We have to do it wrong. And I will say it again, it's hard. It's hard, it's super hard to not say something. I, 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 I have been there and I'm still there. It's hard not to say something that someone's hurting you or your, or your family. We have to move on the road to not look sideways, to not look back. Continue on that road forward, strong. Because you know why God gave you the rope? Even though you were gonna confront a lot of stuff in front of you, because He knows that he's strong enough to move us forward. We have to walk behind him. He's there and he will always be there. 
and this world has been creating hate when Jesus left is that he, we, he, the only thing that he taught us to love one another because we're family we have to love one another and what's happening right we all doing the opposite of what Jesus told us thank you for I really wanted to share with this with you guys I'm really getting close to God I'm not, I'm not gonna be that person anymore I'm sorry I'm gonna ignore I'm I'm not worried about negative or hate anymore. I used to, but not anymore. Learning slow, I'm learning. I'm not gonna do it fast anymore because I am by hurting myself. I just wanted to share that. Thank you, fam. And remember to always stay strong, to stay positive, and God bless all of you and fam. Break the chain of hate and negative and follow the chain of God. Follow the new chain that is positive and love. Break the other chain and follow the new one. And your fam George right here tells you guys never give up and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you fam. I want to do a little something for totally forgot about to my bro Omar I want to tell you something bro I know bro, I'm gonna cry because the moment that you went to in the live stream I was crying with you and and seeing those pictures you know it's it's very hard it's very hard but Bro, I know, I know you do follow God too. I, I have learned a lot from you. You're an inspiration to a lot of people, bro. Don't let those people get to you. You inspire me to even do this, bro. You're the reason that we all here. You're the one that helped me lift out of my, my freaking room and move on forward. You the one that opened the little window. God used you to open that little window to me to come out of the darkness. You have created a, you have created a community of love and positive. There's always going to be that hate and negative. Always trying to take the good side out of us. And, and create those things to us. But you're strong bro. You're strong, you, you always have been there for us. We all here for you, bro. I don't know how to explain because I know it's hard for seeing all the stuff that I have to into you guys, you know, all of you guys. You have told me one day that being success is not easy, it's hard. It's hard, bro. You told me that. You're the one that told me that I have to follow my heart. You're the one that told me that I have to pray every every time that I that I feel depressed, that I feel an ex this anxiety inside of me. You're the one that told me that, bro. You're the one that told me to, to don't give up. Especially, he, you always tell me to call for God. You always tell me that. And you still do tell me to to call for God and I have and I have heard you and now it's different for me look at Jesus bro he he died on the cross even though for those people they didn't deserve the people they heard him and his family his disciples he still suck crucified he still died on the cross for those people they didn't deserve it he still prayed for those people that they spit on his face they put those nails on his hands. They hit him in all his body. They put that, the, the thing that has the thing on his head and it hurt him. But he still prayed for them and asked God to forgive them. You have teach me all that, bro, that the road's gonna, not going to be easy. If we go that way, it's going to be hard. We all here for you, bro. And I, and then from the bottom of my heart, I'm so thankful for you. And I know a lot of people have heart too. I love you, bro.
you take care and I hope to see you soon again okay love you bro